taking a trip down the Ross and Wye over three days. We mate Stag do, so there might not be a lot of filming to do. Hello, by the way. That's my brother Kev, who hates being on camera. As you can see, six of us. How far we got, Kev? 35 mile-ish? Uh, 35 mile, yeah. 35 mile-ish. Lovely job. Um, I'll film what I can. I don't what we don't. Yeah, it wouldn't suck to live here, would it? Nice, peaceful little road. Canoe down the river, got the boys behind us. Me and me bra up front. Because you know, it's pants filming in front of people. Anyway, it's starting to rain. I'm going to put you away and crack on. Well, yeah, the weather's coming. Sorry, bro. Ugh. Got the paddle at the same time. Yeah, the weather's coming a bit. It was glorious sunshine a second ago. Jesus! So me and my brother have taken shelter for five minutes. It proper come in, didn't it, mate? <laughs> Wind are blowing a hoolie. So yeah, I ain't gonna bother with waterproofs now. I'm already pee wet through. Uh, if it does bugger off, we'll shore up somewhere, get changed maybe. If not, let's sun dry it out. Anyway, I'm half cut. See you in a bit. As fast as you can as well. Yeah, right now, no delay. And make sure you do it next to a swan. <laughs> loads of room in that for tonight there's the other guys should be good bar just around the corner nice and easy set up as normal cheap and nasty little down that's wrong cheap and nasty little roll mat uh, down DOS bag and I'm trying out my trail star schneid high hopes it went up really easily without the wind but I've put bigger pegs in we'll see you later won't we there, there it goes, I'm going to get a brew on. That old lady's having a fucking wind up. Oh, mate, fuck that many brambles. <laughs> You've whipped me across the face with that lot. There's always a bonus in everything. <laughs> Pub bound. Where's the food here? Love little pub. Real hazardous road on the way down here, but what a beautiful little town. Um, as soon as I remember the name of it, I'll mention it. Because I really can't. Anyway, campsite's great. Company's been good. I've already had one over the eight, as you can tell. Let's top up on some more and get some steak down my head. As I say, sorry if there ain't a lot of filming going on, but... Stag do. Morning. Shelter held up well. Quite a bit of condensation. There was two of us in here last night. But, yeah, it's done the job. Not an issue with it at all. A little airbed gave up on me and has uh, let itself down. I blew it up a couple of times, got a slow puncher, which is a bit of a ball's ache. Uh, as I say, sorry there weren't a lot of content, but I'm on a stag. I need to get up and make a brew. Oh, my head. Those noisy bastards do not make for a good night's kip. Yeah, tent done well. I so, say, it's a bit of a nightmare crawling out of it. Um, yeah, I've got a long crawl and it you know, did condensate on the inside, but that's, that's really not an issue. I feel broken though. I feel broken. The airbed going down on me has ruined me. There you go. Right. Washed. Showered, copied up, feel like a new man. Went from Hereford to Luxor yesterday, and today we're going from Luxor to Treswick. A couple of pubs en route, hopefully. Um, look at it, stunning. I'll bring you in, I might start filming a bit more of these boys. If you look over there, that ginger foosh with the silly hat on is a stag. And many of you might have heard some of the music on my channels, it's him playing it. So, although he's got a face like a smashed crab, he's quite a talented young man. Right, Stag? <laughs> you don't like being on camera. <laughs> Witness protection. With his clothes on, yeah. <laughs> With his clothes on. There's my brother, he hates being on camera, look. More. Andy. And we have got an old man with us, but he's disappeared somewhere. Oh, he's over there, look, peeping in people's windows. <laughs> Again. 
Catch you on the water. You've got to say, ain't you? It don't suck the beer. Look at it. Gorgeous. So about 10 miles to do today, and to be honest, there ain't a lot of paddling needs to be had. Um, Sherbet on halfway. What do you reckon, bro? We'll be there for lunch. I reckon so. Oh, easy. Easy. Anyway, fat lad talking shite. See you in a bit. Remora. They are libertines, I tell you. Libertines. Yeah. the new harp in lovely fodder stuffed definitely had too much to drink it's a pub shop it's a pub with a little uh, alcove bit which sells spam and other stuff <coughs> good eating lovely part of the world so we're in hall withy now um, as you may not be able to see there hall withy and back to ross and wire tomorrow really really easy trip for those that don't do a lot of canoeing you can actually sit back not paddle just steer you're still going to make it in four hours each day or you can get your head down and do it in two lovely job and we can't Much stop. now we've come this far it's what we do and it's who we are Farts, the snoring, and the blah 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 blah. blah. What a night! We cheap and nasty little air mat is definitely dead. Pumped up about three times last night, and it's just going down. The uh, trail star copy 
Works pretty well, um, I've got to say. I pitched it really high last night, but woke up this morning and it's not so high. It does seem to sag a little bit when it gets uh, moisture on it. And it suffers quite a lot of condensation on the inside. But it does offer you plenty of room. And uh, <laughs> does offer you plenty of room. Yeah, cushy little thing. Definitely going to take it out a lot more. But maybe not ideal when you're on a, a camping trip with a load of people that don't normally camp. I'm going to get some bacon on the go, I reckon. A nice cup of coffee. After my morning of blute. This is why I don't drink. Anyway, I'll try and actually get some footage today, canoeing down. Maybe get some of the lads to talk, but I don't like shoving a camera in their face. When they know. You're recording. <laughs> <laughs> Made it. That's pretty impressive, that. Yeah, it's almost sort of disappointingly impressive. Yeah. Oh, he timed it. He timed it well. I thought he was going to ratchet it. I didn't think I was going to make it. I thought he was going to ratchet it over there and then roll into it. We do so we are. And we can't stop. We can't stop now. Not long to do about that. Lazing about on the river. Lemon ends, change. Nice one, Joe. Beautiful. Coming our way. What up, bro? Now they'll come around the right way. Through that little gap. Oh mate, this is gonna go wrong because that little gap is rock. Go on. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> Well, that's it all done. 35 mile was it bro? 35 mile, bit of nabbit now, happy days. Uh, Ta-ra!